Hi right guys, so I went and I transferred um, Knights of the Old Republic to both of these Xboxes. I've never played either one, so it will not be in the cache of either Xbox. So what I'm going to try to do is launch... I've got it highlighted on both uh, dashboards right now, so I'm going to simultaneously... <laughs> Let me get the controllers up there. And see, the one on the right is the SSD, obviously. And I actually pressed it a fraction of a second later. Okay, so... I'll try to go ahead and start a game. New game. Okay, we'll just pick the exact same thing for both, same guy. Quick character, don't care, don't care. Do not care. Okay, we're off to the races. See, the SSD just whoops its ass in the <laughs> with all these files. But that's it. I mean, in throughput, no way. This is actually a really fast hard drive. When I was FTPing these up, um, I don't know if it's the SATA adapter or what, but the, uh, the one on the right was going at like 11.2 megabytes a second. And the, sorry, the one on the right was going that fast. One of the left was doing like 11.6 consistently, so. Oh man, do you seriously have to watch this? God, I hate Star Wars. I never liked Star Wars. I, I'm into all kinds of nerdy stuff, but never, never liked Star Wars. You can also see the difference in the screens right there pretty easily. God, this sucks. I don't know why it kind of looks better on the just composite screen on the right right now. It's weird. So you can see it's not a, it's not really a huge difference. I mean, in the scheme of things, but the SSD does whoop its ass with the uh, a lot of files. Now, if we switch to a game, we're not going to because that took so long just now. Also, I want to show you with all that FTPing and all that. Just use one bar, and that it was you know lighting up the bigger LCD screen the whole time, and it was on writing to the disc. Um, but anyway, you can you can see that the speed there is a difference. Everybody says, eh, there's no difference. There's not enough to justify any additional cost, but SSDs are getting so cheap these days. If you're buying a SATA adapter and all that, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but still, there's not a big need for an SSD and an Xbox. It just it's kind of a waste. But 
In my case, I did it to conserve power. It wasn't for for speed specifically. So, uh, in my case, I think it worked out pretty well. It, there was a decent amount of savings in there. Um, and that's also why I have the LEDs pulsing. Probably what I should have done was just one LED. They draw very little current, but, you know, when you're trying to save, cut everywhere you can. But anyway, um, so glad I got to show you guys that. I've been claiming that in the group for a while. I wanted to uh, actually prove it. But anyway, join up at uh, ogxbox.com. Uh, click the forum link and go there and join. Uh, we're, you know, it's still uh, developing as far as there will be new features added and all that, but you can join now. Go ahead and ask your questions over there. Uh, and the reason for that is, in our Facebook group, it's easy to lose the questions. It's, you know, you can search for it, uh, uh, something that you know happened and you can't find it. In the forum, that's not the case. It actually has its own search uh, function built into it. It, uh... It's much better than the Facebook search, and it's already sorted. You put it in the category that you know your question pertains to, so it's much easier to find what you're looking for. And you know, with Xbox Scene disappearing, Xbox Hacker.net, all these different Xbox sites going away, uh, we really wanted to to archive the information that's out there that we can still get our hands on or that we just have in our heads. Uh, and so that's the intention. Right now, the server is in my basement. I built a virtual machine on top of my own server. It is running on my home equipment, on my home network, on my home internet connection. So, if our power goes out for more than six hours and my battery backups die, <clears throat> the server goes down. If uh, my ISP decides, you know, that they're going to cut out for a while or if a line gets cut, that's it. The website's down. So I would like to uh, have it hosted, um, you know, somewhere in a data center, but that is somewhat expensive. And so I was trying to sell some of my equipment. Uh, you know, I have some pretty decent equipment. The two things that I'm listing, I've got another one of these Kasumi Xboxes coming. Um, this one here is complete, and that's going nowhere. Um, the other one is in box like that. It's in good shape from what I can tell from the pictures but it's not complete so the pack-in game that's with it and the body pillow that's with it are not in there but the controller uh, and the documentation that's in there and the Xbox is unopened it works uh, and all that but also I've got a couple of these um, special edition and, and you can see it in another video but I was gonna sell these two um, individually and I'm gonna sell this individually to help pay for the site also thought about just raffling it I know that everybody hates that because you end up getting more for the item than than what you could sell it for I get that that is the purpose uh, because it's not it's not for me it's it's for all of us right it's just that I work in this field so I had a particular set of skills Liam Neeson and I was gonna put this together and and do it because I don't know if anybody else can. I had the, you know, the desire and the knowledge to do it. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm obviously not going to get rich on it. If all these other websites had to, you know, close their website, uh, clearly they weren't making any money on it. So I, that's not, it's not a money grab. It's, I'm trying to preserve this information. So um, if you believe that, if you believe me, help me out. If you don't, I get it, you know, but at least come join uh, you don't have to you know donate any money or, or wrap you know enter the raffle but just come join we still want you there so anyway um thanks for watching and i'll see you next time